If Nvidia buys Microsoft, this is game over for Sony and their PlayStation consoles. There is a lot of stuff to cover today. So if you're just listening to me, take a sneak peek at the screen so that you can see all the topics that we're gonna be covering. Also, new format. So let me know what you guys think about it down in the comment section below. First up, title of the video. Pretty surprising, right? So an article from Tweaktown discusses Nvidia rumored to be acquiring Xbox brand from Microsoft. This explores potential features of the next generation Xbox, including the possibility of dual GPUs and AI integration in order to compete with the PlayStation 6 and the PS5 Pro. The acquisition rumor hints at a significant development in the gaming industry while it discusses the next generation Xbox. Second article. Yes, we're going to revisit all of the stuff. I just don't want to get too far off topic with my opinions because I'm pretty good at getting off topic. <laughs> so the second article is from Video Cards reporting that there's an update regarding Intel's ARC XE2 HPG, or in other words, Battle Mage, which is Intel's higher end graphics card that's supposedly going to be competing with the higher end graphics cards from Nvidia and AMD. So. BMG G21 and G10 GPUs are spotted shipping. These sightings indicate potential upcoming releases from Intel in the GPU market. Third article. This is from Video Cards. Again, hands down my favorite website when it comes down to hardware and tech news. And this is discussing Asus unlocking a 600 watt overclocking capability for the RTX 4090D. So fourth article. Again, Video Cards. Speculating on the performance improvements of AMD's Zen 5 architecture compared to the Zen 4 architecture. This is alleged spec benchmarks indicating a 40% increase from core to core speed discussing the Zen 5 architecture's potential significant performance boost over its predecessor, suggesting that AMD may solidify its competitive position in the CPU market. The article also presents speculation regarding the expected performance enhancements from AMD's Zen 5 architecture based on the alleged benchmark data. So, fifth article. This article, again, <laughs> You guys already guessed it. This is reporting on AMD listing a new Instinct MI388X accelerator in the SEC filing, hinting at the development of a new data center GPU. The introduction of a new accelerator underscores AMD's commitment to diversifying its portfolio and competing in high performance computing and data centers. It highlights that AMD's strategic moves in the data center market, signaling growth opportunities and expansion in the company's presence. Six article. This is reporting on and confirming Intel's Arrow Lake architecture launching as the Core Ultra 200 series alongside a Raptor Lake H refresh. Don't you love refreshes with Intel? They're so good at refreshes. Labeled as the Core 200H. These naming conventions provide insights into Intel's CPU roadmap and efforts in order to maintain competitiveness in the market. Discussion of upcoming CPU architectures sheds light on Intel's product lineup and market positioning, offering hints about the company's future releases. I mean, you got to admit it, man. Intel is very good at marketing when it, in comparison to AMD. Like the only reason, like I promise I'm not going to get too off topic about this, but dude, like you and I both know that it like at least... I run a business, so at least I understand this, and this is common sense of what Intel is doing. So the reason Intel released 12th gen, 13th gen, and 14th gen in a row, year after year, is because of sales. New products sell better than old products, even if it's the exact same product that's just like boosted. So like, that's why they did that. So that's kind of why like when you look at the charts and sales of AMD, it's like at least i mean it makes sense why intel sold better but it, it doesn't mean that intel is technically better it's because they're releasing new stuff non-stop even though it's not really new it's just overclocked versions of whatever was previous so seventh article this article discusses the release of intel arc graphics card driver version lots of numbers that you can see on screen which is going to be accompanying the launch of Intel's Arc GPUs. All of the numbers, improvements, enhancements, bug fixes, etc. All of that will, of course, be on screen for you. So, the eighth article. This is 
I promise I kept this for last because it's going to reloop into the, the first part of this video. All right. So the eighth article is regarding the Sony PS5 Pro enhanced, which is what it's apparently labeled at for games optimized for the PS5 Pro console. And the, I'm going to leave my opinion until we finish this. The proposed label is intended for games achieving 4K resolution at 60 frames per second with platform-specific system requirements, PSSR. This proposal suggests that Sony's consideration of ways to differentiate and market games optimized for the PS5 Pro console, potentially providing clarity for consumers and highlighting the enhanced performance capabilities of the hardware that it offers and insights into sony's potential plans for labeling and marketing games optimized for the ps5 pro console aiming to showcase the upgraded hardware's enhanced performance if nvidia bought microsoft dude like that type of a partnership would be that now that is a monopoly that would be a monopoly that would be scary that would be frightening because we're talking about like two of like the like the biggest companies on the planet right now so if they partnered up i mean in a literal sense that would in fact be game over for sony factual that is a fact that is like a literal fact you know it just as well as i know it so as cool and interesting as that may seem and yes this is of course an april fool's day prank that they posted because apparently that's just like what everybody likes to post on april 1st which is why i'm making this video at one in the friggin morning is because i don't feel like reading a bunch of april 1st fool pranks and wasting my time all day looking at stuff and to be honest i'm probably going to upload this video on april 2nd so people don't re so people don't think the eight other articles that i covered are also april fool's day but anyways dude let me know what you guys think about that because i feel like that would be insane like apple like look at the monopoly apple has like this would be apple right here and if we if we like take nvidia and microsoft and put them together like we're talking like we're talking like leaps and bounds like i can't even reach to like the monopoly that that would be like we're talking like google like google wouldn't even be close like like google operates on microsoft and nvidia like you need or i take that back most most google stuff like obviously google is implemented into phones as well now but still you get my point bro like that's that would be so crazy bro that would be that would be insane you know it just as well as i do um but anyways second article regarding intel arc you know it's really nice to see intel trying their best in order to compete with nvidia and amd you know their drivers are really the main thing like there was an interview with gamers nexus and the intel guy where the intel guy i forget his name he's heavier said he has glasses was talking about how important drivers are and hopefully battle mage can compete i'm going to say that the battle mage is probably going to compete alongside like a 4070 uh that's what i'm thinking at least but overall man pretty cool so the asus graphics card being overclocked the 4090d i could be incorrect about this dude but i'm pretty sure that that's the chinese version that was like underclocked to begin with so yes it's better than the rtx 4090 but it's not like a oh my god this is so much better than america's 4090 you know what i mean fourth article regarding amd zen 5 you know 40 percent faster core to core you know having a cpu be faster in general is good and you know zen 4 was already a really good cpu so i mean zen 5 it is what it is but i don't know man it's just it's hard because like and this applies to all of them like this applies to amd this applies to intel this applies to nvidia like all of them it's just with ai right now man and like nvidia releasing all their ai crap and in amd releasing all their ai crap and intel releasing all their ai crap it's hard to like it's hard to know anything with this because like i'm just going to use the 4060 as an example because it's a it's a really good example of this like i'm talking about the bottom of the barrel 4060 like the 4060 8 gigabyte graphics card like you look at the numbers on that thing like you look at the memory bus you look at that like all of it and you would be like yeah this is like this is a 1080p graphics card and it's gonna have a hard time at 1080p even right and then you use it 
and you're able to play games at 1440p and you can even enter into four i'm not saying it's going to run good and yes you're of course going to have to tinker with settings and yes it depends on the game but you can even push that thing to 4k dude and it runs okay with some games and it's just like it's because of nvidia's freaking ai crap and and like you know what i mean so like even like windows is offering all this ai stuff now and microsoft is starting to offer all this ai stuff and it's like you see the specs of all this and it's like okay well it's 40 percent faster but is it literally the exact same as the other one it's just we have new ai features causing that 40 percent increase which isn't bad i'm not saying it's bad because i mean it's cool because in the long run it's going to save us all money but unfortunately unless you find a new job you're also going to be making a lot less money <laughs> but anyways um so the that's so i that like kind of like goes back to like four different articles like the amd zen 4 the mi388 and then intel arrow lake refresh and then the art graphics card and the drivers and all that kind of stuff it's just ai kind of plays a role in all of that and then the ps5 pro man i'm excited for the ps5 pro i just really don't Sony has left a really sour taste is the only way I can think to explain it in my mouth after what they did with the PS5 and then all the stuff they were doing before that with with PS Plus and PS Now and then removing stuff from P like literally games and movies and music and whatever from like stuff that people bought and now they have no access to it and that's kind of what started this whole whatever if I don't own it I'm going to pirate it stuff that's going on on reddit and twitter and facebook and youtube as well and it's just like everybody is talking about that and then all of a sudden like yuzu is sued and then we have the the suyu that was also taken down i don't know if it's back up right now but you guys get my point like that it kind of started all of this stuff and then when covid hit sony like makes the excuse oh we don't want people to catch covid even though they're already in stores buying everything else oh toilet papers in stores look at look at what happened with with the toilet paper sony is are, are you going to tell me that there's more people that need a ps5 than toilet paper come on you, i know you guys are fully aware of this situation unless you're because we're not i'm guessing i don't have four-year-olds watching my video so i'm sure you're, you're all aware of this lysol all the cleaning stuff alcohol all of it dude when the bat when 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 the virus hit there's millions of people flooding into stores to get toilet paper so they can wipe their butt way more than there would have been people going to get a ps5 no sony chose to do this because they know that so they don't care if you have a console they care about selling out every time they put their their thing online which is what happened because bots still have to buy the console so when a, when a bot buys a thousand consoles sony just barely sold a thousand consoles it's just 999 of those consoles i'm guessing the original bot buyer guy kept at least one of them <laughs> but uh so like 999 of the other ones were, were listed online at three times the price nobody didn't care they don't freaking care dude oh but they do care oh they, they'll tell you they care but and anyways i'm gonna get in way off topic it's just very hard to support a company it's look at nintendo there's very few unless you're like 10 years old there's very few adults that are supporting nintendo right now it's all little little kids man you know what i mean so like i get it there's a lot more kids that are playing games but if you're older it's kind of like dude like microsoft and xbox is really the only good gaming company right now and if you look if you're under the age of 20 then don't leave a comment because i'm just saying all right but anyways let me know what you guys think about all of this stuff i really that really is interesting again i know it's an april fool's day prank that they were freaking whatever dumb about at least from what i'm seeing because like it said like all the comments are like april Fool it doesn't say it in the article it's like april fool you posted this a little bit early nvidia didn't buy xbox what bad journalism yeah this okay so it is an april fool but it's still a cool thing to talk about you know what i mean let me know what you got i just that would be the like the most insane monopoly ever dude that would be freaking insane that'd be so crazy 
really really close but yeah guys i'll catch you guys in the next one let me know what you guys think about the new format or if you prefer the way i was doing it before where i literally just kind of cover the article and then talk about it after and then move on to the next one and talk about it after and then move on to the next one and talk about it after i just i really am i'm trying to improve the content and i'm trying to make my content in a way that will be more enjoyable to you i always want to improve it's just there's not many ways that i can think to improve where it's look i'm just i'm just being real with you dude like youtube is gonna it's there's gonna be a lot of channels that fall with ai right now and i'm trying to be a person i'm trying to be i'm trying to create a community of other people that are interested in similar topics to me i'm not trying to like be this super professional whatever i'm trying to create a community of other people that just want to hang out and talk about stuff but i also know that people have limited time so i don't want to i don't want to waste your time talking about an article and then getting way off topic for five minutes and then getting back to the video and talking about another article and again getting off topic for five minutes and then getting back to a next article i just thought covering everything at the very beginning and then the timestamps, like half the video will be everything and then the timestamp will just be like it'll be a timestamp of like whatever me just talking about everything and summarizing hanging out you know but Catch you guys in the next one. Peace.